Hi, welcome to the Learning Grunt video course from Pact. My name is Dan Wellman, I'm a developer based in the UK, and in this course I'm going to show you how to use Grunt to improve your development workflow and create a simple build system for producing a deployable package of code. Grunt is a task runner for JavaScript. We can create or download plugins that perform specific tasks like running each file through JS Hint or taking a group of source files and concatenating them together into a single file. Grunt allows us to configure repetitive tasks that we want to carry out frequently so that we can just conveniently use Grunt to run them when we need to. Grunt runs from the command line and we can set up groups of tasks that run in series to create comprehensive builds for our front end development. Grunt is a fantastic workflow tool that allows us to focus on developing our application instead of having to perform boring manual tasks. So let's just look at some of the different topics that we'll be covering in this course. In the first section, we're going to focus on getting Node.js and Grunt installed and look at the most basic configuration we need to have in place to get Grunt running. We can also set up the development area for our example project. We are then going to focus on some introductory topics in section two, where we look at creating tasks, configuring tasks, working with files in tasks, and using templating in our Grunt file. In section three, we're going to start using Grunt to create a development friendly workflow and look at automating common development tasks like running static analysis, compiling CoffeeScript in SAS, minifying and concatenating our code, and previewing the site or application that we're building on a local web server. In section four, we're going to continue looking at how to create a development workflow, but this time focusing on some slightly more advanced techniques like using require.js to develop with, running Jasmine unit tests using Karma, and adding code coverage reports for our unit tests. In section five, we move on to look at how we can work with the essential Git version control system. We'll first learn how to install Git and initialize a new Git repository before moving on to look at other common Git related tasks that we might want to carry out as part of our workflow, including adding new and changed files to the Git index, committing these changes, and rebasing the changes onto another branch. In section six, we're going to learn how to convert a custom task into a fully fledged Grunt plugin that other developers can download and install. We'll see how to use the Grunt init module and the Grunt plugin template in order to kickstart our plugin development, how to define and work with configurable options for our plugin, and how to create unit tests to ensure that our plugin works in the way that we expect. In the last section, we'll finish up by taking a look at some additional information such as how to keep our Grunt file nice and small and maintainable, how to troubleshoot and deal with common Grunt issues, as well as look at some additional resources that you can use to keep polishing your newly acquired Grunt skills. So join me in the first section and we'll cover some of the basics.